Our friend Brian needed some help on his garage door. Brian has roll-up style garage doors. One gets a lot of use and the other one he rarely uses. On the one he uses all the time, he had the springs and rollers replaced about two years ago. But recently they started making noise as it was operated. So he asked me if I could look at it. I did a little research and this gave me the information I needed. The key is regular application of lithium grease to specific parts of the door. Now this is not your normal WD-40. This has white lithium grease mixed in. So when the solvents dry, the grease is left in all the tight places. Without this layer of grease, the parts will slowly stop working and will eventually fail. Regular WD-40 will dry completely and leave very little, if any, lubrication at all. And while it's drying, it's dripping on your car and you and everything else in your garage. That's not what you want. So where do you lubricate a garage door? All pivot points. These are the hinges for the panels that let them turn the corner as it rolls up. All axle sleeves. This is where the roller wheels attach to the door. These have to be able to slide in and out and rotate as the door goes up and goes down. It moves around. Wheel bearings. The roller wheels in this case have open bearings that need lubrication. Not all do. Some are sealed bearings that never need lubrication. You can tell if that's the case if there's a plastic cover over the bearings between the inner and outer race. Another type that can't be lubricated is all plastic wheels that have no bearings at all. These are designed to operate until they break and then you replace them. The torsion bar bearings are on the end of the torsion bar and may be sealed bearings or they may need lubrication. You can again tell if the bearing has a seal on it. The torsion springs. These need to be lubricated and cleaned depending on the coating used on them. The white lithium grease can be used here or you can use a Teflon based lubricant. The screw drive shaft of the garage door opener is another area that needs to be lubricated. Not all openers have a screw drive. Some have a belt or a chain and those may or may not need lubrication at all, but they will need cleaning. When applying the lubricant, wipe up any extra that may drip. This keeps the oil off the parts that don't need it, like your car or your head. Do not apply lubricant to the tracks. These are not designed to be lubricated. The rollers have to roll on this, not slide. If they slide, they're going to wear out. They do have to be clean though, so wiping them out with a rag is a good idea. After I put the lubricant on these places, Brian was very happy with the results. Now, I could still hear a little squeak now and then, but each time the the door was operated, it got less and less. Was this video helpful to you? Let us know in the comments below. If you did find this video helpful, share it with your friends. They may even like you some more, but no guarantees. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.